All right, guys. Uh, it's been two years for sure of use on this uh, Pecron 1500 watt electric generator. It's your USB uh, your control modes. You got AC on this far side. Um, never had to mess with that side. Don't want to. Didn't want to mess with anything on it. But this year, it's still running jam up with the solar panel. Solar panel plugs in over here. That has been okay. This has my, been my problem and my nemesis since day one. It used to just pop out because they didn't put enough glue on their lock washer. So as I try to show you guys what I've been doing on this uh, Pecron generator, which, by the way, two years ago, they were pretty expensive. I won't lie, I paid a thousand, maybe nine hundred and something. But anyhow, um, I paid a thousand, and then I think you can get these for like four or five hundred bucks now. Maybe even better if you find one on sale. Uh, guys, Fishing Rainbow Dave Rollerson, like and subscribe if uh, you find this worthy people are looking for power and they're, they're looking for something that can run all day or run all night or run all weekend potentially this can do it as long as you're not overloading it and you're not expecting too much out of it this is a very wise investment um of course you got to charge it and that's what i'm doing this video here for because that's the issue you got to charge it, but then it, it lasts all day, and about when it wants to uh, kick out at the end of the day, your last two or three hours, it won't if you have the solar panel hooked up. It'll keep going, and it runs our tent for the kayaks all day long, every weekend. We run a fan, uh, we charge phones on it, credit card machine, Wi-Fi. <laughs> we run everything off this thing, and it works just fine. But, all of a sudden, that switch kept coming out, and they ripped the wires off. So, and it's because on this one, you can see the red glue, it's locked. This one was never done right, so this one kept backing off and pulling out. That wasn't our fault. I never complained to the manufacturer. I came in here and I re-soldered them. Worked just fine. But... That old, my new solder didn't want to take to the old solder, or they were two different, I don't know. They just didn't want to take. I'm scared to clean the prongs off and take the old solder off and not have a replacement switch. You can replace the switch, I believe. I've seen it online, but I, I don't know. Uh, we tried to order it, and then we didn't get the right thing. But anyhow, as of now, I'm alligator clipping it and then just charging it. It charges up to 100% just fine. Um, outside of that switch, believe it or not, I am going to give this product five stars. I mean, obviously, maybe it could be made and manufactured a little better. And, um, you know, a bunch of plastic for $1,000. Well, what does it do for you? It saved us a lot of money. Pecron 1500 watt electric generator. And uh, other than that one issue, which could have been avoided, and then, you know, if I'd have known it, I could have fixed it. Um, simple fix, but as of right now, that's been my only nemesis. Um, and the wires are so short that if they burn up, you got to replace all the little chips in there. So I, I probably will be contacting them just to let them know. But I do give them a five star on their product camping i mean i'm taking this thing everywhere and if you're not drawing a bunch of power if you're just charging phones and and, and streaming or whatever using it uh, for something basic especially anything led it don't move off 100 percent for two days uh, you start running a fan or lights and that's when it starts drawing power and uh and wanting to go down Great product. Fishing Rainbow Dave Rollerson, guys. Like and subscribe.